What's going on guys? This is Tony here with Big Builds. Today, we're at probably my favorite build we've done so far. This is the last line of defense, 50 by 50, here in beautiful Colorado. We're gonna go inside, let's take a look. All right, guys, so first things first is how do we get right here? When we show up in the truck and trailer for your metal building, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get a lay of the land. Make sure your concrete pad is 100% level and square. It's the most important process before the building starts to go up. After that, what we're gonna do is lay out your map of your building. It's called the base rail. Once we do the base rail and lay that out, we're gonna drill through the base rail concrete expansion anchors. Those are what's gonna wind certify your metal building. Once we've laid out the base rail, we've drilled in the anchors, we're going to attach the legs of the structure. Obviously with legs, they can be as tall as 20 feet tall and as low as eight feet tall, completely your preference. In this case, we did 16 foot center section and we did a nine foot leg height on the lean twos. Once we've installed the legs of the building, we're gonna get that big low lift right there. We're gonna grab those trusses. We're gonna lay the trusses in place, drill them into the legs, and then we're gonna start doing the roof of the building. Once the hat channels are laid out, we're gonna start laying those panels on the roof, get that completely done. And then from there, we're gonna do the siding, the sheeting of the whole entire structure. The sides are up, the roof is on, we've almost got there. After that, what we're gonna start doing is the frame outs for the garage doors, the walk-in doors, the windows. Get those done, install the garage doors, walk-in doors, and windows. Those are what we call your accessories. All right, so the windows and walk-in doors are installed on this building right here. He's gonna be putting in his own garage door, but what we do after the install of the accessories is we're gonna trim everything out, make it look really nice. All your windows, walk-in doors, and frame outs are gonna be trimmed and framed, giving it a nice finished look. Some points to mention, this one here is gonna have a six inch overhang around the whole entire building. Really, really nice. We're gonna send it over to Mike over at Last Line of Defense. He's a big YouTuber on outdoor preparedness, so be sure to subscribe to his channel, and he's gonna tell you guys how he's using this building and what he's looking to use it for in the future. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mike, the owner of this building here. I'm actually just wrapping it up right now, kind of putting the final touches on it. So this is, this is literally the first day that it's been done. So when I was looking for a big, basically just a, a big building, literally a big building is what I was looking for. Uh, I was doing a lot of research online, Googling naturally, and then YouTube, of course. So came across uh, Tony kind of talking about these buildings, uh, kind of answering a lot of questions that I had before the purchasing process, just in my early research phases. So I was kind of looking at these or pole barns or different kinds of metal buildings and comparing the pros and cons to all of them. And eventually wound up deciding, hey, this is the style of building I want to I want to get. So I reached out to Tony at Big Buildings Direct and he kind of walked me through the process, gave me some options, told me the pros and cons of different building styles. And then from there, I kind of just chose the size. Originally, I was going to go for a 40 by 40. I was like, oh, everyone says to go bigger. So I went for a 50 by 50. I'd probably go for a 50 by 70 if I did it again, honestly. Um, but then we, we w walked through colors, I walked through kind of layout, I walked through how tall I wanted it, the door sizes that I wanted to put in there, and then the door sizes kind of determine how high you want to build the building. And then with this style of building, you kind of have a few options inside as well with like, do you want it walled off? Do you want to put multiple rooms? Do you want to do a bunch of stuff? And I kind of just wanted it as open as possible. So once we got the original kind of design of the building, then we had to get the building engineered to spec because this exact building that you see on the outside is going to look different if you build it in Texas or whatever. And we don't have to worry about snow loads. We don't have to worry about whatever regulations of the state, county, permitting, all those kinds of things. So once we kind of got the general layout of the building, then we went into literally the engineering phase and then they engineered everything in the building, the, the size of all the braces and the members and how often basically the studs were lined up uh, to handle the relevant wind and snow loads. I also did go for a full slab. These structures don't need a full slab. There's a lot of different ways that you can set them up. 
but I have big deep foundation walls, big footers, and then uh, basically a six inch slab through the whole building. So that also needs to be all engineered. But once that was all dialed, you get the concrete poured, the crew comes out and they assembled this whole building in under a week from when they brought the trailers to what you see right here. Right now, I don't have garage doors on the building. I have one roll-up door in the back that's kind of a drive-through area. And then I'm gonna put garage doors that kind of match my house over here as well. Just standard, overhead, relatively standard overhead doors, eight by eight, eight by eight, and then a 14 by 20. So we'll have a big one here, but relatively standard openers, relatively standard doors that they're gonna come and install. So that I just kind of went through the same garage door company I used for my house, told them the specs of the building, they quoted me out, got the doors ordered, and they'll come and install those hopefully next week. I'm gonna kind of use this building as my, my headquarters, so to speak, where I'll park the vehicles, I'll have a bunch of kind of adventure equipment that I can load up in different vehicles. Planning to put at least one, probably two lifts in there so I can kind of work on upkeep of the vehicles and modifications to them and you know whatever other projects I have going on. Uh, I am planning to kind of do a full build out of the interior of the building as well insulate it, kind of finish it off, potentially add a second level in the back as well. It'll be a multi-use building, uh, storage and kind of just working out of and, and filming videos out of. So yeah, it's been a long time in the making, but super stoked to finally have the building actually up and assembled and seeing it. Walking up to it, kind of the, my driveway comes in here and it's like, whoo, that's awesome. So stoked that it's finally here, really excited to kind of build it out. And I mean, honestly more excited just to be able to have a, have a place for, for all my things. So thanks again to the team at Big Buildings Direct. Uh, they were super helpful, kind of kept me informed the whole, the whole way through the process and couldn't be happier. I want to give a big shout out to Mike at Last Line of Defense for trusting us with his big metal building. Guys, if you're interested in getting one of these buildings, consider subscribing. Hit the link below. We'll be sure to take care of you. Thanks so much.